I've got you on my phone. We're here. Look at our cute little shirts. The one where we're honeymooning. We're gonna be those people in the airport. Excited? Hey. We're going. We're about to drive to the airport, drop the truck off, check into security. Maybe next time you see us. Beach. We'll be in Hawaii. Laundry. breakfast over here this one made us a reservation at Duke's and it's a buffet and like that's that's the ocean Officially welcome to Hawaii, our honeymoon, Honolulu, Waikiki. Yesterday was our first official day here as you saw and today is day two, although honestly it already feels like we've been gone for like five days. <laughs> it's so wonderful to be here. The sun is shining on my face. It's been a a lot of work to get here and a lot of people involved. My sister and my brother-in-law and my niece all flew in to live with Thomas basically for two weeks, which is incredible. We could not be here without them. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. We definitely are not going to miss any chance to enjoy this trip. Um, we, got married in August and I used to be of the belief like I would never just go straight back to work after getting married but because we got married in Vegas that was also a trip yeah we got married in August and I used to be of the belief like I would never go straight back to work after getting married but because we got married in Vegas it was already a trip and honestly it's been so nice to have this to look forward to I'm just sitting in the sun, look at that, <laughs> so nice. Um, yeah, it's been just really great to look forward to this, to put it mildly, because we've had a rough, a rough go in the last like, I don't know, six months, a year. <laughs> so we are here for a week. We're technically gone for nine nights with how like travel works and overnights and flights and things the flight here was great 
Um, it was seven hours and I just watched a lot of Drag Race. <laughs> and yeah, it was fine. Like people had said like, oh, it's a long flight. Like I couldn't be um, reached, which if you know, you know. <laughs> Like, if you're like me, that was, like, amazing. Anyway, as you saw yesterday, we kind of explored. We went for some walks. We got, like, 15,000 steps in, which was great. Speaking of steps, I think one of the reasons why the seven-hour flight was so good was that when we were in the Edmonton airport, we walked about 5K <laughs> purposefully so that when we were on the airplane, like, we had already gotten enough movement. Anyway. Yeah, yesterday we got some steps in. We went to Duke's for breakfast. We found like a random rooftop to have lunch, which overlooked Diamond Head, the mountain. And then we did a sunset cruise as you saw. Um, and today in about 20 minutes, we're gonna walk for about a half an hour. And I booked myself yoga on the beach, which is like, bucket list it's been on my vision board for probably four years and like yoga on the beach with a palm tree not yoga on the beach at home like I have I'm very well aware that I could do that at any point since we live on multiple lakes but like on the ocean so super in disbelief that that's happening, in disbelief that we're even here. Honestly, I was filming the sunrise this morning as we were waiting for our acai bowl and our coffees and it was just like, this looks like a movie. <laughs> I can't believe it. So yeah, I got yoga on the beach this morning, then a pretty open day. Then we booked a happy hour at a place that was recommended to us. But people ask like, what are you most excited for, for this trip? Uh, the unicorn's answer was rest and mine was no schedule like my life is so regimented and scheduled basically to the hour with Thomas his schedule his meds his routine our lives so coming here was very important to me to like not book a lot like we have a, we had a few dinner reservations the sunset cruise this yoga we are gonna spend a day at Pearl Harbor because that's on the unicorn's bucket list and I'm thrilled to go and learn and see it all uh, we booked a car for a couple days but like not every moment of every day of this vacation and if you would say like is this gonna be a restful trip or an adventurous trip restful like if I sit by the pool and read my Kobo for five hours great <laughs> everyone's different you may come to hawaii and like hike and kayak and never stop that's great because you can go home and recover <laughs> this is our recovery <laughs> um yeah so we're staying at the beachcomber outrigger waikiki i'm looking around as if this name's gonna be somewhere i'm pretty sure that's what it's called and i will give you a review of the hotel once we've been here for a few more days so far I have nothing bad to say about it. And I have really weird niche things that I like and do not like about hotels, so I'll just tell you that. Give you a little room tour, and yeah, just bring you along on our trip, our honeymoon in Hawaii. Look, I'm literally sitting here staring at diamond head and palm trees, and I can't believe it and about to go do yoga on the beach in a tank top in February. <laughs>
rented a car on our third day and we are basically just driving like wherever the ocean takes us. <laughs> Everyone I told that we were coming on vacation here, they immediately were like, did you rent a car? Yes. And so we rented one for tomorrow and then we decided that that just wouldn't be enough. We didn't want to feel rushed. So now we have one today and tomorrow. And yeah, we're just gonna find some beaches. We're gonna find a Target for mom. And I really want to find some like, I want to find some like local artisans. I want to take home like a piece of art or something. That's what we're doing today. That's the ocean. is now Monday and because we had such a fun day yesterday with the car we actually canceled today decided we had seen enough and we really wanted to have like a chill day so we're just heading to the pool but I realized I haven't shown you the view from our room yet so let me do that it's pretty fantastic ocean diamond head and this is like a big mall, but open. Some more mountains that way. It's pretty great. So we were supposed to have the car today, but like I said, honestly, we did a lot yesterday and feel good about like we saw the whole island basically. Got some shopping done, I bought some art. I really wanted to get some to take home as like a really nice souvenir from the trip. So I bought it without a frame, but I'll frame it at home so that we can get it home safely. Um, and yeah, this morning we just walked back, returned the car, had a little breakfast. And I also feel like yesterday was go, go, go. Tomorrow is go, 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 because we're gonna do a full day of Pearl Harbor. So today we're just gonna go chill by the pool. Cheers. We're at the pool and I realized I can't show it to you because there's many people and many children, and I really try hard not to film other people. Enjoying a $7 margarita. Enjoying a $7 pina colada. Cheers. Everyone warned us that Hawaii was going to be the most expensive place we'd ever been to. I can't tell you how many times we have disagreed. Vegas is similar or more pricey or if you don't do the conversion Canada is just the same like at home you can never get a seven dollar pina colada in Vegas or at home so it's been really interesting I got a really good deal in our room so good that when we checked in the concierge was like so you were quoted this by Expedia. Mm -hmm. Just looked at me like, how? Because basically we got seven nights. What do you think, for the price of two? Yeah. So it is expensive to do stuff like that. So if we hadn't gotten a good deal, like the accommodation is pricey. And car rentals daily are great. And if you had a car every day. Like our car was 150? Yeah, for the day all I did was go on Expedia on a new computer that I never looked at it because we've been both looking at like trying to find a deal on our phone forever and so we narrowed it down to certain hotels and I searched this one and it was like 75% off or something and I just booked it immediately anyway now this redhead has to put the shade back up Here we go. Anyway, we're just chilling at the pool. 
tomorrow. We're gonna go back to the room and nap and then figure out where we're gonna make a reservation for dinner. That is quite the dessert. It is banana Dole Whip. How's yours, honey? Good. Yours is also banana, but like Granola. peanut butter. Yeah, chocolate peanut butter, honey. We're gonna walk to the beach. <laughs> 7 12, and we are in for the night. We have an early morning tomorrow. We are doing a full day at Pearl Harbor. And so we booked breakfast for 7.15 so that we're on the road. It opens at 8, I think. Um, so I thought while I take my makeup off, we would chat. I want to tell you about this hotel. We are staying at the, it's the Beachcomber Waikiki something. Yeah, the Outrigger Beachcomber Waikiki. That is important because there are multiple three outriggers it's right across the street from the beach. it's great yeah so it's across the street from the beach which is key because it's much cheaper to not stay across the street from that like you stay across the street from the beach and it's so much cheaper anyway it's a great location at least we feel like it is this is the first time we've ever been to honolulu and so like I can't compare it to staying in any other area, but as a first timer, and as you know, we only rented a car for one day. We've been in an Uber once yeah, so far. So we've been able to walk everywhere, which has been really nice. Um, locations, great. There's lots of restaurants, there's an ABC store about every 10 feet, no exaggeration. And an ABC store has like, you name it. Like, it's kind of like a convenience store, drug store, a little bit of food, um, tons of like touristy stuff too. But they are legit multiple per block. It's hilarious. And so, when you need something, which inevitably we do, it's super convenient. Anyway, so, okay, things I like about this hotel. A super niche thing about me in a hotel is I live for efficient elevators. <laughs> I am not the most patient person, we're just saying it lightly, but like when I have to wait you know, I've stayed at hotels where I've had to wait like 10 minutes for an elevator, no exaggeration. This has 25 floors, four elevator banks. I would say, wouldn't you agree, babe, We've the longest we've waited for an elevator is maybe 30 seconds? Like maybe a minute. A minute max. A I max. average is probably 30 seconds. Like super efficient, which I love. Um, it's very clean. It is, we feel very safe. Um, it's very quiet. The doors to each room are like slow close. We're talking super niche things, but this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> so no doors are slamming. We've heard maybe one or two people in the hallway once or twice. Uh, it's, don't forget, it has a curate. Yeah. Which is has a Keurig, which we knew, so we actually, when I say we, <laughs> he thought ahead to bring K-Cups. It has free purified water, like refill stations, multiple ones in the hotel. So we went to an ABC store for $1.75, bought a 1.75 liter bottle, Filled it up zillions of times for free. When we checked in, they gave us two water bottles, reusable. We've been filling those up nonstop. Like, <laughs> I, I hate to com keep comparing it to Vegas, but that's where we were last, like when we got married. There's no free water <laughs> in Vegas. Um, so that has been a huge cost savings and also has just helped us 
you know, it makes it very convenient to stay hydrated. We're on the 15th floor, and like I said, there's fifth, there's 25 floors. So there's people above us. I think we've heard one noise above us. No noise from either side, except maybe a door once or twice. It's so well soundproofed. There is a coffee shop on site that opens at 6 a.m. that sells like acai bowls and smoothies, but also waffles, like full cooked breakfast, delicious Hawaiian coffee. Um, there's a restaurant, the Maui Brew House, which we went there for an early dinner tonight, which was good. Um, there's a gym, which honestly we haven't used because we've been doing about 10 to 15,000 steps a day. So there's been like no need to work out. There's a pool, which I told you about today. It was, it's very family friendly. It was funny. <laughs> My husband noticed um, a group of guys probably in their like mid twenties walk in and are like, oh, this isn't what we expected. <laughs> Not a party pool, but Saturday night, there was a huge party here, like with DJs, we didn't hear a thing. We have not heard any party sounds, no street noise. Can you give anything else that we like about the hotel? Oh, bed's great. Yeah, I'd say the rooms were refreshed probably the last couple of years. Yeah, it's very like. So it's all been redone to like, kind of an ocean mm -hmm. color, coral and white. I will show you the room at some point when it's clean. That's great, that great. <laughs> like. Big TV, smart television. Smart TV. You can throw it from your phone to it. So we've been watching YouTube, or we've been watching Netflix. The Wi-Fi is perfect. It doesn't drop, it doesn't buffer. It's. Has a fridge. We have a fridge, we have a safe. Um, do you mind if I say that you have allergies? Yeah, go ahead. So he has allergies and we, he's had no issues here. We have literally stayed at other hotels where he has like, we've almost had to switch because I can't sleep sitting up. It was so bad. Like very clean, no allergens. Um, they gave us free champagne when we checked in cause it was our honeymoon. Honestly, we haven't had to ask them for anything. So it has a nice deck like on the eye. Yeah. Patio's great. We've had it cleaned once because we've been here for five days now. This is not sponsored, wish it was. <laughs> Tomorrow we are going to Pearl Harbor, which I don't think I'm gonna film anything. I can't bring my camera. You're not allowed to bring a purse, a bag, nothing. So I'll have my phone, my ID, that's about it. Um, and it, it just feels disrespectful to vlog. So we're not gonna vlog Pearl Harbor, but we will catch up with you once we're back. It is our last day here and we rented an umbrella and two chairs by the beach. I'll show you our view. And we're just gonna chill here. Got my Kobo coffee. Great way to wrap up the vacation. Yeah, this was a great idea.